I put together this exhibition of my mother's photographs. She died 18 years ago actually and while she was alive we didn't do anything about her photographs despite the fact that she and her twin sister are documented to be the two of the earliest women photographers of India. Just before my father passed away, she expressed a desire that we should organize, I should organize. Uh, and I, I made a commitment to myself more than to her that by hook or by crook, even if it's the last thing I do, I'll put together an exhibition. And even though it's taken me 18 years after her passing away, I still think maybe it was meant to be this year because she would have turned 100 this year. That's me with my toy dog and what I really love about this picture is that I'm not looking at the camera. I'm looking away and that's also strange that my mother liked it. Normally you know how parents would go, but you look at me, look at me. The thing is that my mother lived under the shadow of my father. My father was a filmmaker, a well-known one. and. I feel that she didn't get her due in terms of recognition of her work because sometimes people dismiss this kind of photography as, you know, domestic photography. But she wasn't only a domestic photographer because you, you can see here there are portraits of Pandit Nehru, of Krishna Menon, Vijayalakshmi Pandit. Uh, and Rabindranath Tagore, because Rabindranath Tagore, in fact, was her photograph was adjudged to be one of the best 25 photographs of Rabindranath ever taken, and they were all printed in Illustrated Weekly of India. She scarred the streets of London in 1959. There was a reason for her to stay there for a month or two. The whole family was there. And she just wandered around with her roly flex. And uh, there, you can see all the results, you know. I mean, she's got moments in time. There's an old woman, you know, reading a book in the sunlight and park. I just think that her work is superb. And I'm not saying it just because I am her son, but all the people who have been coming here for the exhibition have been remarking how ahead of her time she is. We organized a very big exhibition of my father's photographs because he began life as a cameraman. So this was in the year 2000 and it was a big event. And there were lots of press, there were TV people, uh, TV crew recording. And they kept asking me for bites. So I told them that actually I'm not the right person. My mother should answer this question. So they said, we'd like to interview your mother. Then I looked around and found she was nowhere to be seen. Finally, when I found her, she was sitting in a corner of the gallery. Uh, all this shooting was going on outside. So I had to get, go into the gallery to find her. She was sitting very quietly. And I said, Ma, are you okay? Are you well? Is everything okay? So she didn't look at me. She just looked into the distance and said, nobody has ever done this for me, for my photographs. And it kind of hit me. For the first time, I realized that she had a desire to show her work, but she lived, my father was a famous man, and uh, she lived under his shadow. Obviously, I mean, in the sense that she was a fantastic homemaker. So I don't think that she really regretted this, the fact, but I think obviously somewhere when so much of fuss was <clears throat> made about my father's work, it must have kindled some kind of, you know, desire or whatever regret that her work had not been shown. And she died a year later. Maybe she would have taken many more photographs outside you know, of the world, of the you know, people, 
but it's because she was a woman and at that time in the 50s and 60s it was not usual for a woman to be walking around alone. Yesterday I realized that a very strange thing that apart, except for the curator and myself everyone connected with this exhibition has been a woman. The Hyderabad gallery was owned by a woman, uh, the graphic designer was a woman and uh, a journalist there were all women. The same thing has happened in Bombay. The gallery is owned by a woman, all the journalists are women. So it's, it's very strange, I, I, I can't understand. There must be something to it, I don't know, because my mother was a woman, maybe that's why the women, uh, maybe it's appealing more to women.